And this is because it's hungry. Um, this middle purple thing is phosphorus deficiency. The yellowing of the leaves is most likely nitrogen deficiency. Forget about sustainability. You want to enrich ecosystems. Every bean is equipped to live a positive energetic balance. Keep it pruned. We are cultivating abundance. Not a problem to cut down trees. The problem is not planting them. What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Ego Forestry Academy channel. Today, continue on the pineapple updates. Um, I'm doing, I'm putting some uh, new manure in the in these five months old pineapple. This is a different variety from the last video. This is a, a variety that's called Imperio and it's prickless, but it is a lot more sensitive and it demands extra care than the prick, the, the varieties that have prick. But before we get right into it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, smash that notification bell and let's get to it. Let me put this in a more, actually before I do that, let's just go through the, the plantings a bit. So basically this is um, the manure that I'm using. It's actually a uh, Bokashi compost. And so we know it's full of nutrients. It's got some minerals and manure and and other stuff. Now this pineapple is a lot more demanding than the other ones that are already on flower, which I showed you last video. Those are called pearl variety. That's perla in Portuguese. And one thing that you can see here in these pineapples is that they look kind of ugly. Okay, they look. They've got this purplish strip in the middle of the leaves. They've got they're kind of yellowish, and you know the the edges of the leaves are a bit eaten. Apparently, they you know they've got dead leaves, and this is because it's hungry. Um, this middle purple thing is phosphorus deficiency. The yellowing of the leaves is most likely nitrogen deficiency, and and there's also just uh, the slow growth it just shows that it's it really lacks nutrients and the thing is that i should have done this put this fertilizer a couple of months ago and i was kind of uh i delayed it a bit because these see these little pineapples they're actually a partnership that i did with the neighboring farm and they produce this variety and they produce the, the the little pups, and so the, we have a partnership where they they're giving the the pups and they're giving the manure, and I'm gonna give them back the plant after the harvest because then they're gonna use it to produce more pups, and but then because of logistics problem I I didn't manage to get the manure on time so you know a couple of months of delay, so now I'm coming in a hurry to to do this so i'm going to show you how to put some extra manure on your pineapples and because the pineapples have a bit of a of an a cool little trick that you can do which i'm going to show you right now so i'm putting 200 grams per plant a bit more actually 250 it's a little butter pot and the interesting thing about the pineapple is that you know, I know that the roots are going to be spread out around here, you know, around the, the plant. In, uh, and But the in, in the intersection between the leaf and the main stem and the stem of the pineapple, uh, they've got some meristematic cells. And what, what a meristematic cell is, is a cell that hasn't yet differentiated in tissue. So, you know, it's not yet part of... Uh, it's not a specific tissue yet, right? It's it's an undifferentiated cell. So it, the, the meristematic cells, plants usually have them in every little nodule, you know, they're going to have meristematic cells. In every growing point, they have meristematic cells. So knowing this, that they have the, these cells here, I know that the pineapple will actually absorb 
uh, nutrients from this uh, leaf intersection. So I can allow the manure to fall here a bit in these, in between the leaves, but very careful not to allow it to fall in the middle because this will kill it. So I have to be very careful not to allow anything to fall in the middle of the pineapple. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just sprinkle around a bit on one side and then sprinkle around a bit on another side. And if it a bit falls on the in between the leaves, that's not a problem. And there you go. So I'm gonna go in and do a few more. And right after putting the, these, this Bokashi compost, I will, I will irrigate the plants because it's pretty dry and the manure, all the nutrients, they need water to be carried into the, the plants. So if I put the fertilizer and there's no water, there's no rain, then the plant will not absorb anything. Whenever you, you're putting some extra fertilizer on your plants, try to understand where the roots are. The roots are not necessarily concentrated on, you know, really close to the center of the plant. They're actually gonna be spread out more. So the pineapples have this, um, this peculiarity that it, it absorbs from the intersection of the leaves. But you, you usually want to spread the, the fertilizer around the canopy, on the, sh the shade of the canopy of the plant. So wherever the plant is shading the soil, when you have sun, the midday sun, which is coming right from, the, from, the, uh, from, from a vertical angle, you want, uh, that's the, the, where the roots are, right? It's a projection of the canopy of the plant that's where the roots are. So you can see that I'm spreading out manure all around the plant to make sure that it absorbs properly. So next one. And these pineapples, they will probably be setting flower in about a year. So there will be some more updates to come. I'm gonna make sure that you, to update you on the development of the pineapple after this, this, this fertilizer. We're gonna do all of this this week. We've got a ton, exactly a ton of fertilizer um, to spread out. There are about 3000 of these Imperial pineapple here so we're gonna do that okay so now that I've showed you how to fertilize your pineapple you can do this with only manure this is you know you don't necessarily need to use bokashi I'm using bokashi because I, I have access to and they're giving it to me so um, so I'm doing the bokashi but if you use just manure whatever sort of manure you have that's a, a great thing you could also try doing a liquid fertilizer, you know, mix some manure and water and uh, let it sit for a while, put it in a, in a one of those uh, pulverizer and just, you know, sprinkle it on the pineapple. This is also a great way to, to fertilize your pineapples. And if you've got access to cow urine, that's also pretty good. Anything you can you can get your hands on will be pretty nice. So uh, there you can see the other pineapple variety. This is the pearl variety, and it just uh, this pineapple wasn't. I didn't do any. I didn't put any additional fertilizer, and it just grew perfectly without uh, looking hungry. So. You know, you gotta know your plants. There are varieties and varieties. Some plants will not um, be healthy with just the, the initial fertilizer that you put, depending on, the, on how much you fertilized 
them in the beginning. So you always want to be looking for signs of maybe they're lacking some nutrients and you can always be generous and add those nutrients to make sure you're getting good agroforestry harvest. So I'm gonna go right ahead and finish doing these fertilizers and maybe in a couple of weeks I'm gonna be recording a new video and giving you an update. The, the plants should respond within a week. They should already change the color because the color of the plant is, it's, it's from chlorophyll, right? So what gives the, the plant green, it's the pigment. And the plant needs nutrients to produce those pigments. So once it absorbs some more nutrients, it will quickly work on making all those greens, the, those leaves green again. So make sure you keep in tune. And if you are new to our channel, I've already told you, subscribe. Do check out our full online agroforestry course. There's a card right here. So make sure you check it out. There are five modules. It's 25 lessons in total. It's over five hours of, of lessons. Uh, you can check that out. And if you want to take a step further, do um, go into our Patreon community. If you join our Patreon community, you will have access to some extra material that we share with our patrons, you know, such as sketches from our system, some extra information to complement the, the content of the video. So it's a, it's a, we've got a pretty good, cool community com uh, going, going on there. So that's it. Thank you for watching. And I'm Felipe for the Agroforce Academy. I'm signing out.